there's a new super agent that's taking the internet by storm and it's called GenSpark. And GenSpark is a fast and reliable general agent which allows you to use various tools to serve your everyday task. They have nine differently sized LLM models, so you can actually find different models that you're used to on the tool, but they also have in-house tool sets, so 80 plus tool sets and in-house data sets to allow you to then combine pre-trained LLMs with different tools to get much better outputs. So for example, I signed up for an account. It's very, very easy to do so. The first prompt that I gave it was, we will be writing an SEO optimized article with the intention of ranking number one for the keyword, top AI tools for businesses. And then I told it first, what I want you to do is go out and search and analyze the top five blog posts ranking for this specific keyword, and then create an analysis of those top ranking articles based on a couple of different factors that we would use for SEO recommendations. Do some, give me some recommendations for on-page SEO optimization and other relevant factors. And then I want you to use all of that information to write the most SEO optimized article for that topic that will outrank the top articles. So essentially, I'm just telling you to go out, search up that keyword, go on Google and then do an analysis. So it went ahead and it first searched the current top ranking article for this keyword. If I click view here, we can see the SERP overview and we can see the websites that it went through. So then it went ahead and crawled and analyzed the top five articles to understand their structure, content and SEO strategies. So again, as you can see here, it went through all of those articles. It went through another website, 8pro.com. It went through HubSpot. It went through Synthesia. And as I mentioned before, it went through Zapier. So it did go through all of those top ranked blog posts for this specific keyword. And the cool thing about this is that it's actually able to then read the images as well. So it did the analysis and this is the output in which we get back. So this tool is very, very similar to Manus. But as we know, Manus has a wait list. And Manus actually is not that generous with free codes. So I find that you're actually able to get more output. It's a lot more smoother and quicker compared to Manus AI. So I kind of like this already from this just preliminary testing. So this was the article that we got back. So based on the top analysis, it then went ahead and created an article plan, right? So this is the article in which we were able to get back here on the left hand side. The ultimate guide to top AI tools for businesses in 2025, 75 plus solutions to transform your operations. In today's rapidly evolving digital landscape, artificial intelligence has transformed from a futuristic concept to an essential business tool. Da, da, da. So we get a table of contents here. Let's see if it actually works. I think it does. So it's a really long in-depth article. So we get an executive summary of the top AI tools by categories. So this is really good, best free options, best enterprise, best for small businesses, so on and so forth. Our research methodology. And then this is the cool part. We actually get some, um, some screenshots included within these actual articles. Now, I'm not sure if it pulled this from the other articles or this is native. Um, either way, it's pretty cool that we get some embedded screenshots and then it went ahead and actually explains that. So that is something that is new. I have not seen this in any other tool and I think it's very, very useful. So we had some business use cases. Um, again, we're going through different, uh, tools. So Gemini, Claude, chat GPT, Grok, so on and so forth, Jasper AI, but this is not actually Jasper AI. So it went ahead and it did try to pull a screenshot, but this is the wrong screenshot, but again, really, really good potential there for something that would be very cool to use. So if I scroll down, I can see that the article is pretty long. I would say probably over 4,000 words. Notion AI, again, this is not Notion, this is WordTune. So not perfect, but again, has a lot of good potential. And the article actually didn't complete, as you can see here, it just kind of went pretty long, but it didn't complete the article. And I think it's probably because it hit a rate limit or a limit for tokens because it was a little bit of a longer article. But overall, this was, you know, almost 5,000 words. And I'm sure, let's go ahead and see if we tell it to continue writing. Yep, so it does actually continue writing. So if it does cut off, you just tell it to continue writing and it will do so. And again, this is probably close to 5,000 words. So we're just gonna paste this into a Word document and it's already 4,200 words. And this is probably only half of the article that it's writing. So we get a beast of an article very, very quickly. Um, it went ahead and it did some research before it actually wrote. So we can be a little bit more confident about this article ranking on Google because it's went ahead and done the research for the top ranked articles. So again, we see some nice, cool um, screenshots here for GitHub Copilot. 
and again it's still writing so while that's completing writing I want to tell you guys quickly about my tool, which is called wordrocket.ai. You can use it for completely free at the time of recording this video. All you have to do is enter your open router API key within this section, and then you can start generating content for completely free using these pre-built templates. I will definitely be adding in more templates. So it will be a suite of templates which you can choose. And there's also a variety of different models. You can use Gemini, you can choose Claude, you can choose a bunch of different popular templates or, or uh, models. And you can even use some free models as well for yourselves. As you can see, there's a couple of free models here that you can use. So again, if you want to sign up and try it for yourselves, the link will be in the description below today's video. I think GenSpark is great for those really long in-depth articles that you need to do research. But if you just want to write content on a day-to-day -day basis, then using a tool like WordRocket would be a better, quicker, more efficient option. And we will be adding in things like WordPress integration very, very soon. So this article is a beast. You know, I think that this is almost like 10,000 words, which is insane for an article. And it's still not finished writing, right? So let me go ahead and copy all of this content over. This is 60 pages. This is an overkill for sure. But if again, if you wanted to rank for some content like this, this may be the type of content in which you need to create because this is a very, very tough and difficult keyword to rank for. So word count. 8,791 words and it's still not completed. So GenSpark is definitely a very, very good tool. As you can see on the left-hand side, there's a variety of different things in which you can do. You have the super agent, which we were just using. You also have the image studio and you have video generation. And again, you can choose between which models you think would be the best and you can auto select and do a mixture of models that you think would work best. And that's the same thing for generating images. So again, if we go to generate images, we can see some of the top models here that they're using. So very, very cool. You can also do deep research. So that means you can take its time to do research. Um, and then you also have some pre-built templates or pre-built agents in which you can use. Let's say you wanted to do some data search. You can use this template here to ask some data and it will go out and do some data search based upon that information or based upon the data sets that they've already included within this tool. So again, a lot of different features, very, very easy to use. And the home screen has some trending topics as well. So it's set. So it's kind of like a mixture between a Google search and AI agents kind of combining those two things into one place. I definitely like it. I think there's a lot of possibility and potential for this tool and i hope that you guys can use it for yourselves and let me know how it's able to help your workflow thank you guys for watching today's video i will see you in the next video take care bye bye